The Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach in the 58th edition. Ryan Callanan just went past Kelly Slater in the first quarter final to be joined by the winner of the next tee, Toledo versus Wilcox. Just getting started, and the back half of the draw is out of control. World champion tee with Medina, John John Florence, Italo Ferreira, Jory Smith, the Bells champ tee. As this one continues, that bottom half of the draw is just crazy to digest. <laughs> With swell like this, that's still in the double to triple overhead range on the biggest bombs that started Jacob Wilcox against Felipe Toledo. Yeah, and you'd have to say Jacob was uh, keeping a very close eye on that heat with uh, Ryan and Kelly, making sure he uh, watched exactly what Ryan did and, and maybe take a page out of that book because Ryan surfed incredibly well, got that board nice and vertical up into the lip, and Jacob's got a very similar style and approach, very similar build as well. eBay. Getting the ball rolling early here as well. He had a bit of a rough time yesterday, damaging some boards, but managed to uh, hang in there. Today's just going to be a cherry on the top for these guys. Felipe, not renowned for his power, but I think he's sneaky powerful. I think for his size, he's pound for pound. Some of, some of the most powerful turns on tour, and there's why right there. Just not quite connecting with that last maneuver. And both guys, just some low scores, I'm sure won't be keepers by the end of the seat, Joe. That maybe, possibly, yeah. There's right. a few different answers in there. Yeah, maybe, possibly, no. Yeah, we'll see. But still, you can see he's talking about a lot of memories. We'll talk about our picks for win in a moment, because Wilcox is finding a meaty section to attack vertically. And now he'll kick out under a wall of whitewater as he's battling with Felipe Toledo. Rosie asks us who the pick to win. I think everyone's been really focused on this world champ seat coming up next. John John, Gabriel Medina, two of the new school rivals on tour. How about Wilcox on this one? Yeah, well, great uh, wave selection here from Jacob Wilcox. You can see again that wave standing up nice and tall and connecting beautifully with that. And unfortunately, that wave kind of running away, so no inside section. But that rail grab turn and again that three-quarter face, the, the guys that are doing that, are really connecting nicely with the lip. Look at the spray flying up into the heavens. And he comes down nicely. But unfortunately, no inside section on that, so it's going to hurt the score just a little bit. But great, great surf in there from Jacob Wilcox. Potts, do you have a clear favorite to win today? Um, no, not at all. I think it's, it's going to be a tough one to call, Joe. Here comes Felipe Toledo, second scoring ride in the making. Just skating through the open face on that wrapping cutback. Arcs it back into the power source again. Real clean reads on the open face for 77. Lip line flow with total control on the landing of the flats. I did a score big on those type of waves, but this is going to be the difference. Now, what's the, the, the approach that you have when you face the wave as opposed to having your back to it? More sort of horizontal turns, isn't it, Joe? More of those uh, rail cutbacks. There, is, there goes another one, you know, and I think these aren't going to score as well as the vertical turns that Jacob Wilcox and Ryan Callanan produced. Through the inside, though, Felipe finishes nicely with that lip line float. Pass of the 19-minute mark. The goofy foot rolls in. Nice springy little backhand. Redirected to the pocket, frames and vertical. Staying really high on that lift line for those arcing carves. It's sort of bending away from him. He wants something to project off of on the inside. The trials winner will throw it vertically and get hung out to dry there, incomplete. Selection is really going to come into play today to get those ways with a lot more vertical face and get that board up into, into the lift. You can see Jacob there, even on that wave, uh, able to get that board vertical, and that's going to be the point of difference that the natural footers are going to have to work against. And again, Jacob bringing this one through. Didn't quite finish off on the inside. Uh, is that going to better his 3.67? Still looked like a kid, though, in those moments. I was just locking into barrels and beating some of his heroes. Now it looks like he truly belongs in all sorts of conditions, especially with his confidence. Felipe Toledo drawing a beautiful carve in the pocket. Nice clean wrapping turn as well, flowing down the line. 
extending that hack there. So his best wave so far in the making. Toledo looking to finish strong. Lip line off the top, gets some air underneath his board. Wow. And when you can do full rotations in the flats, you can also jump off the roof of a big <laughs> barreling section and do some dramatic floaters. Great wave for Toledo. You know what, Joe? It comes down to wave selection. He picked the right wave here at this, uh, on this occasion, and, uh, and it stood up for him. See how that face is way more vertical, so he can get further up into the lip. And again, those big, beautiful bottom turns, mixing it up with those top turns and then just has to bide his time and, and really plan this inside section. You want to come through this bowl with a lot of speed. You want to be able to project off that lip and get that nice free fall drop and create that drama that the judges are going to buy into. Again, let's have a look at this wave here. Double pump bottom turn. Watch the positioning he's got his board in. Nicely there, just really connecting just before the lip turn. I think that's where the power is. That's where you get to engage those fins and really drive off the top, putting himself in that perfect spot again. So. Just uh, reading this wave absolutely perfect, extending that back leg, pushing off those fins to get that speed back up. And again, three solid maneuvers. We're about to see the best wave of the heat get locked in right now. Love those angles of that forehand hook. Three different versions of it using that really solid section. Through the inside, he knew he was going to go off the lip here. Yeah, you know, it, it was just a matter of what maneuver he's going to pick. And I think choosing the right one a beautiful free fall drop right there from felipe toledo you have to come into that last section with a lot of speed joe because you want to jam it in there and then get yourself out of that uh, critical situation that way it converges it's an avalanche of white water and it's very easy to wipe out at the end there he, he could have turned that eight into a six had he not finished that last maneuver off impressed to see felipe toledo control that finish another excellent score for felipe 8.17 with a lot that can change up with the curve of the wave. That end section was like a haunted house yesterday. As we look at a bomb setting up out the back with this offshore wind. Skating out in front, touching the rail. The arc is Toledo. Holds that bottom turn, resets, and throws it off the top again. All patience for Felipe. This wall starts to grow. Doesn't mind a free fall into the flats. Can he commit again down the line? Aggressive bottom turn. Clean sweep off the top. Toledo with a lot of energy, but no room to move there. Wisely kicks out the back. Joe, that was incredible. He jumped off the jet ski, and that wave came out of nowhere. Second priority and managed to pick off one of the biggest set waves of the morning. Have a look at that. As you see, Jacob having to duck dive that section. And Felipe flying, almost snowboarding down this huge mountain. Positioning is everything here, maintaining that speed. And there's going to be moments here where you've just got to stand back and watch. And as he's doing right now, you just wait for it, wait for it. Timing that bottom turn. Make sure you keep that speed up. Nice flowing surfing here from Felipe Toledo, needing to better a 4.10. Beautiful arcing turn there from Toledo. Almost looking for the barrel, deciding to pull through the back. He's not out of this heat just yet, still plenty of time remaining. He's going to have another shot here before Toledo gets into the lineup. Wilcox looking to extend his time here as the wild card at Bells Beach. Needs a 9-1-7. Speeding down the line, a lot of foam on the face of this one. Swings through, finds the lip to hit. Draws off the bottom and hits it hard in a messy closeout section. Incredible composure to pull that one off. That wasn't an easy read. It definitely wasn't. A smaller wave through the inside here, but sometimes these are the scoring waves. Nice opening turn from Jacob. And again, connecting nicely. Now he starts to move through that inside section. A couple of nice little backside hooks for Jacob and then finishing with a vertical snap and uh, getting swallowed up and spat out the end of that one. I love the bottom turn that he's got. Look at the body position. He's almost squaring those shoulders up. And now he pivots off those hips and gets that board all the way around. Great technique there, very similar to what Ryan Callanan was doing in the early stages of this morning. He comes out, he's gonna need probably another score, Joe. So he is uh, very ready for these situations. And you can see uh, 
this last minute and 45 seconds. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of shuffling in position in the in the lineup. But you can see Felipe keeping a very, very close eye on Jacob Wilcox and taking in that wave off him, Joe. Felipe Toledo with 90 seconds setting up his first turn. Classic frontside wrap. Changes it up with a little laid back fade and he'll hope he has a big end section to work with. Smart play, just keeping Wilcox off this wave, but now he's got the lip to work with. Rips it right off the top, lay back to blow the tail, can Toledo right out, he does. Wow. That was a, a very tactical move there from Felipe. Wilcox with the entire lineup at Bells Beach with priority, knowing it's his turn to try to create a big upset once again. He'll choose this wave. Big wrap off the top to set up that bottom turn. Top turn wrap again, solid. Flowing down the line is, this set is just building with energy. Rips that into the guts of the way, the big air drop. And the Australian crowd lets him hear it. What a finish for Wilcox. We have to wait for Felipe Toledo's last score to get locked in to see what he was chasing. Big finish like that, it's gonna be close. Yeah, it is gonna be close, Joe. Uh, Felipe only just bettering his uh, second score. 7.95 required for Jacob. A couple of beautiful turns here from him. Waiting for this inside bowl to set up. You can tell something special is gonna happen. It's just a matter of how radical it's gonna be. Beautiful turn, snaps it, and free fall down the mine shaft, gets spat out the bottom. 6.83. Oh. Just misses out on the win. Felipe Toledo survives a close one to take on Ryan Callanan in the first semifinal.